Hey guys, welcome to another brand new video and today I have a USB fan which run on 5 volt and the problem is this micro USB port somehow get damaged and the fan is not running on micro USB port or it's not charging at all. So now here as you see you have a holder for placing a battery and here you can place a 18650 battery like this and if you turn this is on off switch on and this is off and this is mode 2 high speed mode so now as you see the fan is working this fan has a pretty good airflow i bought it from aliexpress around 20 dollar the company name is digo it's huge it's around 10 inch fan so if you guys are living in a hot environment and there is certain power cut you can buy this kind of fan it's a pretty good fan but now the main problem is it's not charging now if i put the micro usb port here it's not charging here is the light indicator it's not turning on so it's not charging at all so guys today in this video we're going to fix a micro usb port so let's do it so here on the back we have four screw let's open one by one okay guys now back portion is open so now this is connected to the motor it's a bldc motor and it's consumed really less power around 5 watt Let's disconnect the motor now now this is the main charging unit and here is the micro usb port so we'll open it here is the usb connector let's disconnect it from the main board here is a micro usb port and the pcb that i deasset from the main board as you see guys this micro usb port is somehow desoldered from the board so if i resolder this micro usb port here it's probably fix the problem and guys i have some replacement micro usb ports this is all our smd so this one is on the board and this is the replacement jack i have little bit different so first we will solder this one on this board and hope it works so let's see what happened guys now guys we're going to place this micro usb port here and solder it i put little bit soldering paste for better soldering first i soldered the original desoldered micro usb charging port but it didn't work so i replaced the charging port with new one and soldered it there micro usb port has 5 pin but here we just need 2 one is positive 5 volt and the negative and other 3 is data plus data minus and for otg so all of this pin is not required here so we're going to solder only the positive and negative pin so soldering is completed now guys we give it a test so first we're going to use a 5 volt micro usb charging cable and plug it up so now use a multimeter we're going to test the output voltage if you are getting 5 volt or not yes we are getting 5.02 volt which is perfect and here is the damaged micro usb port which we don't need anymore so leave it now attaching the charging port with the main board and the red wire is desoldered from the board so we need to solder it again soldering is done put the charging cable inside the battery and the red light is turned on so it's charging now guys this charging port is fixed now put it here and screw it connect with the fan motor now it's supposed to go like this yeah now you screw the four screws guys let's put this micro usb cable to the charging port and hope it works wow the fan is ready so guys thanks for watching this video hope you like this video so if you like this video make sure you smack a big thumbs up on this video and if you guys have any question inside let me know in the comment section below that's being said my name is Richard. i'm signing out and i will meet with you on my next video till then bye bye